Welcome back to the Industrial Revolution in Minecraft. And today we've got the salt input working. We have cheese. The cheese is being automated. Everything's working. Oh, uh, you wanted context that that might be might be beneficial. Why don't we take a look back at the live stream that we did where we set this stuff up so you have some idea what I'm talking about. I think it's been a little while since we streamed on the Wednesday. I want to say we streamed like Thursday last week. I don't even remember. But we're back on the Industrial Revolution, and I did a, a video here this morning, and now it is time to begin Pizza Factory stuff. Uh, we hopefully, by the end of the stream, will have automated cheese successfully. That's the idea, <clears throat> if at all possible. I can automatically produce soybeans, and the cool thing is I can also use the soybeans to make this cheese, because I can use soy milk. So that's easy to automate. I can't automate the other milk very well. I don't have the ability to make a cow in a jar, because there are no vanilla cows, unfortunately. So, I need soybeans, in other words, to start off with. Uh, I should put away some of this stuff. And apparently soybeans spawn in tropical gardens, which are found in places like jungles. So, the very first thing we're going to be doing is taking our covered wagon <laughs> that we made in the other stream and going in search of a jungle, or following my compass to a jungle, because uh, nature's compass. Wait, are those vanilla horses? Dang it, those aren't, no. Vanilla horses very occasionally spawn still. But it's mostly draft horses. There are a lot of animals here. Is that a vanilla horse? Wait, that might actually be a vanilla horse. <gasps> Please. Is, that's, I don't think that's a draft horse. <gasps> it's a vanilla horse. Okay, I need to mark this down so that I know that I can get vanilla horses. Because they're way better for riding. Vanilla horse. Done. Is there only one? Or there? Oh, there's another one. There's a bunch of them. This is so good. Uh-oh. I'm not sure if the horse is the horse gonna like show up, or am I gonna have to relog again? Why game? Why this happening? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have to relog. <sighs> I hate horses. I mean, it's not the horse fault. It's just a bug in this version of Minecraft. That's so annoying. Zoom. <laughs> I should have enough gas in here for this. Hopefully. Ooh, there's like a swamp thing over there. Oh, I can free look. That's nice. Well, that's a cool biome. I wonder what, are those different trees? That's some sort of jungle thing. Jungle-ish. That's like a jungle variant from mods. Ooh, palm trees. Oh, chat, we haven't been to a jungle before on this world, so this is new. Uh, let's see here. So we're looking for, I guess we'll take melons, but we're looking for tropical gardens. <laughs> the boat the boat took a little bit to catch up. It got there in the end, but very speedily. Oh, there's crabs. Wait, do these guys hurt me? Crabby boy. Hi. Crab rave. Shade. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Tropical garden. Alright, what did we get? We got sesame seeds. Okay. Um, can I have grapes? Uh, neat. Oh, that's it. Chat, we did the thing. We did the thing. We can go back now. We can automate this and we can use it to make cheese. What's that? There's a hamster. Interesting. Can you tame the hamsters? Why is it? It's so tiny. It's actually realistic sized. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, this is the best way I can zoom in. I'm not going to shoot it, but I can zoom in so much better with this. Mmm, hamster. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I was growing wheat. I have a ton of bell peppers. This needs to be turned into a seed. Soybean seed, there we go. I need to make more of these things. I'm running out of room for stuff. Alright. Shoot. Um... It's actually not the end of the world if I killed the snow golem because there's more snow for me to make. It. Okay, so we're getting soybeans now. Chat, so now the first thing that we gotta do is we have to make... We have to automate our cheese. We have to figure out exactly what it takes to automate. I haven't used the immersive engineering auto crafting before, so it'll be a, a learning curve. Basically, I can use soy milk and salt and use a pot and then it just turns into cheese. So there's a cool thing that we have already going for us. If we come into my area here, this distiller, it turns water into distilled water, and it has a byproduct 
uh, that byproduct is salt, <laughs> which is something that I need for my cheese. If we come around here and we open this chest, you'll see that we have salt. And it's very slow, but it does get produced automatically. It's already a byproduct of what we have from my distiller. And so I can change the output of this to go wherever I want. So I already have automatic salt. Oh, it is automatic. Perfect. So what happens? What does this do? I get grain bait and I get tofu. Which I believe I'll need tofu, but that's not soy milk. Um, is there some other machine from Pam's Harvest Craft? Is there... I could probably just pull up the wiki. Let me just search Pam's. Presser plus silk and tofu. Oh, okay. So I still need the, pres uh, the presser. Okay, that makes sense. In other words, I put that into there. So we're going to probably need several of these. We're going to need two of these. And that will give me firm tofu and soy milk. Perfect. That's what we wanted. So we are getting there. And once I have a pot, which I already have one, actually, they're easily, really easy to make. I can just make cheese. So we're, we're already close. Um, it's probably a good size. Uh, I'm not sure how much decorating we're going to do for now. I might... Um, might do the floor. We should probably do the floor because we are going to have to like put stuff down. Hmm, what should the floor be? It should be some sort of stone. I think. Maybe like some sort of stone tile. Okay, that looks cool. I'm not sure what we'll do for the wall. So I put that there. I put in some beans into that. And the idea is that, there we go, all silk and tofu will go out of that. Grain bait, I want to go into a chest and just sit there. Let us make a chest and I will output grain bait um, somewhere else. I'll, like I'll put it right here out of the yellow side. So this is what the item router does. See, look, it already put the grain bait in there. That's perfect. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the power input. Nice. So now I can power this. It looks like it's working. It looks like it's reusing the pot. It doesn't even look like it's like doing anything to it. So I think it's fine. Chat, I think. Oh, we automated cheese. It's it's given us cheese, guys. We did the thing. I have to put salt into this. I have to automate the salt input. But we are getting cheese now. I have a lot of cheese. Yo, Pog. <laughs> Uh, I'll just put water down here for now just to drink. Very epic. In other words, that's another ingredient of our pizza done. So, Chad, if I were to put soybeans into that, then we can watch all of this get converted over. We can watch just everything go. It's going to be very satisfying. There goes the silken tofu. It's going to get processed in here. It's going to get split. It's going to send that into there and it's going to craft and it outputs our cheese. I have to route my salt from the distiller now. Now this is epic. I probably should just make a chest temporary output for that. I also get automatic grain bait, which is kind of cool. And there we go. I haven't seen any more salt come through, so we'll have to periodically check to make sure it's actually working. Pizza factory, 10 out of 10 factory. We're getting there. We've automated one thing so far. I've automated the cheese that is used in making the pizza. Yeah, we haven't gotten any salt here. And I don't know if that's just because it's a really long delay between salt coming out or if the salt output is broken. I don't know. It's the problem. I'm going to take my cheese up to my kitchen, though. Okay, is there something here? Is there salt here? Are we just not getting salt? May have to just confirm this later on in like uh, Saturday's video. Because it might take a while. I just haven't seen any salt anywhere. It's almost... I wonder if it's even outputting the salt. I don't know. There's no salt here that I've seen. Alright, yeah, that's where we're going to be ending our stream today. I think that is a good place. We did a lot, chat. Uh, we basically automated cheese. 
And if that salt from the distiller doesn't work out, I can also make salt from just pots and water, water things. And you can also dupe fresh water. You can see, you can turn one fresh water into eight. It's a dupe that hasn't been fixed yet. So it's really, really easy. And there you have it. That's how we were able to get our cheese. And it turns out that the salt input is working. I never actually saw the salt move, but we were getting cheese. So it was getting salt from somewhere. And that's all that I care about. Meaning that's going to be like really easy because I don't have to do anything else. And now it's time to build the actual pizza factory building, which requires a lot of Jasper from the desert, which I spent uh, about a day or so mining with my mining drill. It just spawns underneath sandstone before the stone in the desert. I felt like putting the cheese underneath my pub because it seemed like it'd be cool to have it down there. And I didn't want to try to fit everything in the pizza factory because it's going to house a lot of decorative stuff like a pizzeria restaurant thing in addition to actual automation. So that's why we decided to put it underneath my pub. And I also happened to come across some more tropical gardens really close to my base and not in the jungle, which I wish I'd known about. But I got back to my base and I had to make concrete because it was time to build the pizza factory. And boy, is it nice having a vanilla horse back. They're so much better for riding, but I immediately had to go somewhere where the horse couldn't go, which is underneath the water in an ocean, because I need abyssal stone, which only generates at the bottom of the ocean in giant circular clumps. But once I got into it, I was able to start obliterating it with my mining drill, because I needed as much of it as I could for the roof of my pizza factory, because it looks extremely nice in its different forms. 
I spent about like 20 minutes or so gathering Abyssal Stone and ended up with quite a few stacks of it and I was ready to head back to my base to start using it for the roof. And I started by making a little trim of Abyssal Blocks and then I took the Abyssal Brick variant of the Abyssal Stone and started using that for the sloped up roof parts that would go around the trim. I didn't fully finish the roof but I did get a pretty good start on it. There's some extra decorations and stuff that we're going to do later. But it, the factory building and slash restaurant is looking really nice. I've been really happy with how it turned out. But I think that's a good place to go ahead and end this episode for today of the Industrial Revolution. We automated cheese pretty much, and we also got a bunch of work done on the pizza factory building. We continue working on it in live streams and other episodes, stuff like that. But if you did enjoy this video, then consider dropping a like, hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 200,000 subscribers sometime soon. Not sure when, just eventually. Thank you. <laughs> And also follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server if you haven't already. And I am working on another 100-day video. I'm not sure when it'll be ready. It's uh, in production now, you could say, week or two or something like that. But that's going to be all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I've been Speeve, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Bye. <laughs>